Thank you. Thank you very much for having me here. Thanks to the amazing Elrond team for making that happen. Uh, my name is Julien Maldonato. I'm partner at Deloitte uh, in charge of innovation, especially Web3. And uh, I'm going to share with you my vision of the metaverse, the, the, the next decade in front of us. And I will try um, to convince you that it is inevitable. First, my definition of the metaverse. Um, I love this one because uh, it says it's not a place, uh, it's a moment in the humanity time, the moment in time where uh, our digital life is worth more to us than our physical life. Could sound afraid, but it's not. In fact, it's talking about value. And as a physician, uh, I would define value as a decrease of entropy, meaning uh, a produce uh, of information, of intelligence, to uh, bring us uh, well-being, because we are living things, and we need to decrease our internal entropy to feel better. Uh, I will uh, come back to this uh, definition later. But it's not um, something new. In fact, uh, it's already happening for more than 20 years. As you can see in our work, the way we work, the way we socialize, the way we entertain, the way uh, we use our identity, we are still very much uh, in the digital world. and. It will continue with new tools like Metaverse. So, as I said, I'm, I will use physics, and in particular, I will use thermodynamics, the third law, the third rule principle, to uh, prove that it is inevitable. Uh, on the left, you have these third rules. Uh, it says that in the universe, in our universe, uh, every single structure is self-organizing to maximize the energy dissipation. All of you, each one of you are a dissipative structure. And all together, we are forming a much complex dissipative structure. Uh, life appears because of that evolution. Because in order to self-organize, to maximize the energy dissipation, we have to decrease our internal entropy. Meaning we have to produce and to store information. In simple world, to, to be smarter, intelligent. And that's why we, when life appeared, DNA appeared to store information. And because it was too slow uh, to evolve, uh, it appears also after the genetic, the memetic, the use of brain to store more information more quickly. After that, we need new tools like writing, after that printing, after that computing, and so on. And in this curve, exponential curve, will appear what we call Web3 meaning decreasing entropy into block of blockchain by transforming energy. Transforming energy is not bad. Uh, proof of work is not bad. It's just the way the universe works and, and the, the law of uh, physics. So 
to me, there are four main components interesting in the world we are building. It's time to build because we have no kind of maturity around these four components. First one is the new kind of networks called distributed networks, like Elrond networks. Um, these kind of networks are bringing us security with uh, tokens, tokenomics to uh, ensure security, uh, and brings us transparency. Ownerships with keys. Uh, we just saw a ledger. Uh, not your keys, not your asset, not your information. So uh, it brings us what we call self-sovereignty. Uh, and last, uh, last interesting thing is um, all kinds of protocol, uh, self-executed contract, what we can call it the DAP, decentralized application. And that DAP could bring us a lot of token, uh, at least an infinite natures of tokens, everything could be tokenized. Every information, every concept, every object, physical or digital, could be tokenized. To bring us sense. To bring more info information sense like semantic. To bring us the origin of information, who is the producer, who is the creator, who is the user, the consumer of information. So it will bring us a more intelligent internet. And last thing is the convergence between the physical world and the digital world. In fact, the, the, there are no two different worlds. It's all about information. It's all about waves and signals, like the light. And my eyes are transforming this signal into information into my brain. So it's, it's the same world, in fact, uh, a world of physics. And to bring is more easy, easy uh, in an easy way uh, this physical world, we will need more sensors. We all have sensors in our pockets, in our phones. We will have more, more and more, more accurate, more precise sensors um, to have a kind of model of the physical world and being uh, a virtual model. Uh, and in the other way, what we call for now virtual will more and more feel to us like real. Meaning that in a few years, we won't be able to feel the difference between what we used to call virtual and, and the physical one. The, the, our brain will be tricked, will be fooled, uh, and uh, it's amazing. We are just at the beginning. As you can see, we, you can uh, a bit recognize me, but in the future, you will think about as a photo uh, in front of, uh, in, uh, behind me. I was talking about identity. Uh, as you know, to access to a uh, metaverse, we will need keys and identity. Um, for now, in the current web, we are not owner of uh, our identity. We are more renter of our identity. We rent it to big techs. In the future, we will hold our keys and our identity with different kind of tools like, like wallets. Once we access to the metaverse, we will have all the identity attributes, names, birth, uh, assets, everything. Everything will be uh, represented by tokens, non-fungibles or fungible tokens, um, and virtualized also, not only tokenized, but virtuals, meaning that we will have a representation uh, easy to understand for our brain, more natural, I would say. For instance, uh, I try to do a kind of uh, art, uh, try, uh, and uh, to uh, illustrate the, the way it's easy to tokenize my property, because I'm a creator, so I needed to encapsulate the property right, the ownership right, into a token, 
So I made a non-fungible token for this uh, uh, write management tool. And then uh, I also virtualized this art into Metaverse, a 3D representation of this uh, painting. And once I did that, it's easy for me to exchange it. Much more easy than the, the, the financial system, uh, the current financial system we have. Because in the financial system we have, we need a lot of intermediaries, from banking to securities uh, managers and, and so on. In, in, in a way that in the future, we will maybe come back to a bartering. Easy way to exchange things, uh, information, uh, creation, value creation, because uh, by painting, I'm reducing entropy, so I'm creating a value. So I need to store it and to exchange it easily uh, in, in, in 3D space. So by doing that, we will facilitate the emergence of a new kind of finance called the decentralized finance. It will be easier to exchange value with tokens. Some of them could uh, refer to old money like uh, fiat uh, with stablecoin, but maybe we will not have uh, in, in a long future need any more uh, kind of uh, uh, old currencies. Everything will be tokenized, so it will be barter. Uh, so the payments will evolve a, a lot. We will have a decentralized application like um, Maya Exchanger to uh, facilitate the lending, the borrowing, the insurance uh, to cover some, some kind of new risk uh, with token and also to, to invest. Everything will be done in an easy way, 3D ways, a uh, new kind of experience. So what we have in the previous version of internet, the e-commerce, will be tomorrow a meta-commerce. We will also have new kind of use cases around governance, citizen governance or uh, private organization governance. It will be more easy to engage final users in policy making uh, with token incentives uh, mechanisms and with immersivity. Uh, so it's, it's interesting to see how, from the public sector to the private sector, every governance will be easier with uh, Metaverse and Web3. Uh, oh, the this, this slide, sorry, it was not uh, the slide I was uh, looking for. Uh, so governance, uh, as I mentioned, is a, a uh, will be revolutionized, um, like training and learning. We will use uh, immersivity and, uh, again, um, learn to earn mechanisms, incentives with token to engage more learners around training and so on. New way of working. Uh, again, same mechanism will engage more collaborators uh, around uh, work, will catch more attention when we, we, we will all have uh, headsets, uh, VR headsets and devices. You will be more focused on uh, the work uh, and, and the collaboration. For instance, uh, in order to work on um, some new concept, in order to modelize, uh, to do modeling around new concept, it will be easy to make it appear in front of us uh, and to talk about a car, uh, ours, new kind of risk around of all of that. Uh, everything will be easier to understand. Again, the idea is to decrease entropy, is to bring us intelligence, uh, more readable things, more understandable things. And with pleasure. We, we will use um, kind of entertainment, uh, pleasure, comfort uh, to be better at work. And so on. Uh, in fact, there is no limit uh, in terms of use cases. 
there is no limit in terms of uh, potential. Uh, it, it, we, we are, as I said, at the beginning of a long journey uh, that will bring humanity to new kind of intelligence. It will be spectacular. Uh, it will be a, a lot of wow effect. Um, and uh, why it's now and why it's time to build again, uh, it's because we have uh, a lot of maturity and uh, a lot of choices to, to uh, in terms of uh, building zone. Uh, there, there is in this uh, schema 10 types of innovation around the Web3. Oh, sorry, there is no the full uh, uh, the full picture, uh, but from the way you will operate in terms of business to the way you will distribute your offering and engage customer uh, through your products, you will have ten different types of possible innovation with Web3. As I mentioned, the way you will work with immersivity and uh, tokens and uh, incentives mechanism, new kinds of security around the information, the trustability, uh, the trust, um, the way you're offering your product in every industry, you will reinvent your products with a uh, new kind of services autonomous services with self-executed contracts, decentralized application. You will have the ability to create adjacent services around core product. Because of the composability of Web3, uh, interoperability uh, in the future, it will be easier to connect between businesses, between industries, between sectors. Uh, so, easy to uh, make new kind of adjacent services. And obviously, the experience will be much more efficient. We have two eyes, and with this screen, we are not able to use the full potential of our two eyes. We are not seeing a stereoscopic vision of the future here. But sooner, in a very few moments, you will all be able to access this third dimension, the depth, the, the volume. So it will bring us like a power three, uh, a cube, cubic information more. So uh, in terms of engagement, a lot of business will use act to earn mechanism to engage more their customer. Act towards, meaning that with tokens, the interaction will be engaging. Uh, it's better. I don't know if it's written here, and you will you will have the slide. Um, so that's um, in, in short uh, the, the the full potential. Uh, of, of the Web3 and the metaverse. Um, and as we said, uh, yeah, it's time to build all together. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you have questions, I would be happy to, to answer. Thank you very much.